What's good, y'all? It's Jay Wreck of the Collector, and this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition. So let's see what's inside and see if it's worth it. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening up something special. It's been 25 years of Yu-Gi-Oh! and we have the Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary Edition. So we're going to be opening up two boxes and huge shout out to Fusion Gaming. That's why we were able to pick up uh, this set, which actually, which actually just came out at OTS stores basically yesterday. That's going to be watching this video and it'll be out everywhere else on the fr following Friday. And huge shout out to RSR Collections. This video would not be possible without him. He was able to help us get our hands on these two boxes for you today. So if you can, check out his Instagram and check out his YouTube where he does also pack openings uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! And before we actually open that up, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comment section down below if you've opened up this set as well, what your best pull was from the set. So pretty excited. I, I kind of want to see what we get. I I'm pretty hyped. I want to know if uh, we can pull this quarter century rare uh, Dark Magician. That's one I've been hunting for. If we can get any of the other ones, that'd be kind of nice. I know that uh, it comes with some legacy packs as you can see right here but also comes with some promo cards so let's, let's open it up and see so we got um the promos right here we also have the legacy packs which actually comes with legend of the blue eyes white dragon so that's pretty cool bit of a throwback there metal raiders so that's crazy because that's literally like the first pack i i think first set i've actually ever opened um when i started playing when i was little uh, feral servant one of the favorites dark crisis spell ruler aka magic ruler and uh, invasion of chaos so if you can get something cool in there that'd be that'd be kind of nice uh, so every box is gonna come with one well basically one of each of these and here we have the promos um so i think we might have spoiled it for ourselves because i think the quarter century rare which is the special rarity uh for this that's, that almost like starlight is actually on the back so we might have spoiled it for ourselves right now but let's open it up and see what's inside as far as i know you are going to get uh six promos which are the egyptian gods the the basic uh, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, uh, and one of those six cards are going to be the Quarter Century Rare, which you might pull, which is going to be on the back of uh, the card, or back of the pack. Uh, so let's take a look what we get. Uh, we're going to get Obelisk the Tormentor. Very nice. You got the Slifer, the Sky Dragon. And yes, they are colored on the back. We got Wing Dragon of Raw. We got Blue Eyes, White Dragon. The Dark Magician. Okay, let's put that to the side right there. Red Eyes Black Dragon and our quarter century rare is going to be the Dark Magician. There we go. That is hype. That's actually the card I really wanted. So we got it. We're going to put the Dark Magician right over here on the side. Um, so actually, let's take a look at that real quick. Take a look at this. We got basically a Starlight. Um, look to it. It's got the Yu-Gi-Oh card game 25th quarter century stamp on the description box here But very nice that is not my favorite Dark Magician artwork to be honest with you uh, But in the starlight type of print that is that is very nice very shiny So very excited for that. Let's uh, get on to these packs and let's see what we can get They smell like newer cards they don't smell like the old style cards actually so kind of um underwhelming right there so we got trial of nightmare dark world thorns root water hitatsumi giant spirit of the harp and sandstone sandstorm derude drooling lizard hinotama soul and basic insect so we got some commons right here a bit of a throwback so that's pretty cool so let's start next with metal raiders okay so gotta sniff the pack the Cheerful Coffin, Musician King, nice, Petite Moth, Launcher Spider, wow, Witch's Apprentice, and a Skull Knight Common. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Rabbit Horseman, The Immortal of Thunder, and Seven Colored Fish. All right. So a lot of throwbacks here, actually. Uh, let's go with Spell Ruler. Okay. We got Fire Kraken. Performance of the Sword, Eternal Rest, Queen Bird, Mother Grizzly. I remember pulling that a long time ago. Uh, Liquid Beast, Molten Destruction, Psychic Kappa, and Eat Gaboon. Pretty cool. All right. I think we're going to go with Dark Crisis next. 
I want to save uh, Ferro Servant in an Invasion of Chaos for the end, just because those are pretty, pretty classic packs right there. Uh, we got Rod of the Mind's Eye, Mas Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, Guardian KS, Battle Footballer, Archfiend Soldier, uh, some old classic beatdown game right here. One of the best. I used to have this in my beatdown deck for sure before. Ninken Dog, that's cool. Uh, Final Attack Orders, Cestus of Dalgla, Dagla, and Dark Scorpion right there. Let's go with Invasion of Chaos. Okay. Gigantus, that's nice. We got Lord Poison, Dawn Turtle, Teflon Dawn, Smashing Ground. Whoa, that's cool. Nice throwback right there. Lakunga and Big Koala, an anti aircraft flower, Chaos Greed, and Skull Mark Ladybug. And Feral Servant, you can get a Buster Blader. That would be super dope, actually. Enchanted Javelin, some throwback right there. Seven complete. Time Seal. Whoa, that's nice. Science Soldier, Gravity Bind. Whoa, and a Chain Destruction Ultra. Look at that. Wow. Chain Destruction Ultra. Wow. I don't know. It seems like if we can get... Let's see how this last box goes. But if we can get some more out of that, maybe the pull uh, rates have increased, obviously, just for this. Which is great, because I really don't think out of that many packs, you would have gotten anything really at all uh, back then. So let's get on to the final box. If you guys are new to the channel subscribe button and uh, hit the like button as well if you're enjoying the video so we got the promo right here or the promos we got the packs we're gonna leave the promo till the end to see what we can get um, and let's start off with the packs I guess so we'll go with the legend of blue eyes white dragon okay dark world thorns monster egg silver fang not gonna try uh, Armed Ninja and a Beaver Warrior. Cool. Dark Gray, Follow Wind, and Man Eater. Sick. Okay, let's go with Metal Raiders. Alright, so we got Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Kaminari Attack. Classic. Launcher Spider, Big Eye, Sangan, and a Skull Knight. Rabbit Horse and Flame Service, and a Disc Magician with the Beyblade spinning right in the middle. Spell Ruler. Let's go with Spell Ruler. Penguin Knight, nice. Dark Zebra, Stone Ogre Grotto again, Whiptail Crow, Giant Rat, Magical Labyrinth. That's a cool one. House of Adhesive Tape, Minar, and Red Archery Girl. Dark Crisis Time. Let's go. We got Morale Boost. I don't remember that card at all. Uh, Dice Reroll, Gaga Gigo. Hey, Desrook Archfiend, Dark Scorpion Combination, and Outstanding Dog Marion. Uh, also, non-spellcasting area. We're spell reproduction with little wing guard. Cool. All right, final two packs. Uh, let's go with Invasion of Chaos. Stealth Bird, Ojama Yellow, Chaz it up. Uh, Pinch Hopper, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Yellow Luster Shield, uh, Griffin's Feather Duster, not the right feathers we want, Stumbling, and a Cannonball Spearfish. So, basic compulsory. Nice little throwback right there. And our final packs, pack, final pack of Destiny, uh, which is the Feral Servant. Let's go. Three-Headed Guido, Guido, Cyber Falcon, Dark Bat, Reign of Mercy, Dimension Hole. Yo, Buster! Blader, yo, we said it, we said it, we were looking for it, yo, no way, yo, crazy, dimension hole, okay, yeah, dimension hole, yo, buster, blader, that's it, they should have made that a starlight, bombardment beetle, bombardment beetle, respect play, and four star ladybug and doom, okay, cool, whatever, we got Buster Blader right here, not a starlight. I wish it was. I mean, they should that'd be so cool if they threw those in with the packs. But yo, look at that. Buster Blader, Feral Servant. Crazy. What literally what I wanted. Two ultras. Uh no super rares out of this. Uh but we did get a bunch of rares. Uh but the two ultras we got pretty high. And finally, let us look at the uh promos we got. Which already know the first six, because those are the six you're always going to get uh, in these packs. 
uh, or in this box. Try not to spoil it for myself, but I'm pretty sure I already saw the back there. So, all right, let's go. We got Obelisk the Tormentor. We got Slife of the Sky Dragon, Wing Dragon of Raw. So put, you know what? Let's just put these over here. Blue Eyes of White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and the final card of this opening is Blue Eyes White Dragon. How fitting is that? Look at that. We got the main characters right there. Sorry, Joey. But yeah, look at that. So we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is actually beautiful. Actually, in this type of quarter century rare starlight looking thing i definitely don't think these rarities are going to take over from any starlights ever uh but in general this is beautiful two boxes of the newest set what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below what i think is that if you want to take that trip down memory lane uh to open up some packs from your childhood especially if you grew up in the last 25 years in Yu -Gi -Oh, uh, i would say definitely buy it don't need to go crazy and buy you know multiple cases uh i would say maybe two to three max it really depends on you uh what your budget is or you know how much you want to open if how much you enjoy opening it but i think this was really fun uh really nice that they give you all of these nostalgia cards uh basically you know the three egyptian gods uh dark magician blue eyes or the red eyes and it lets you get a chance to get one of those in this new quarter century rare which is pretty nice looking uh, very shiny loved it definitely seemed like there were better pull rates this time around for these uh you know legacy packs which is really nice chain destruction buster blader super hype uh we got the dark magician in the quarter century rare and we got the blue eyes quarter century rare so if you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button as well um other than that there it is there's the video i will see y'all later and i'll see y'all in a minute